Hello, welcome to Reso Coder. And what is the best way to learn how to program or how to do anything really in life? Well, as Marcus Aurelius once said, and I'm paraphrasing over here, so don't spend your time contemplating what is it like to be a good man, but simply be one already. And well, we can apply this principle to anything in life, not to just being a good man, but also how to be a good programmer. And the answer is simple. Start coding. And you may say, hey, it's easy to just say start coding, but how should I actually start coding if I don't know how to code? Well, you maybe even know how to code, but you don't know your new framework, which you are trying to learn. You may know how to do native Android development, but you may not know how to do web development or how to do Flutter or how to do anything else, right? So how can you actually move forward? How can you progress forward without you losing your mind or without you being stuck in tutorials and doing just mindless exercises and which are not pushing you anywhere? Well, the answer is that, as I said, start coding. And how should you actually start coding is really simple. You have to pick a project and then go through it. Full steam, no obstacles uh, are respected. You should just plow through it, right? Because how else are you going to learn? Well, I think that a human being can learn the best when it needs to learn. When we need to learn, you can do anything. Just take, for example, a really uh, kind of a silly example, but hey, for just for the sake of it, let's do it. So imagine that uh, you have not run in uh, in five years. You have not run one time in those five years, but suddenly a dog is starting to chase you down the street. So what are you going to do? You are going to run and you are actually going to learn how to run. And if you don't learn how to run, well, you can learn how to fight. And if you don't even learn how to fight or how to run, you have a high probability that you are going to die, especially if it's a freaking huge dog who is trying to chase you. And we should all apply this principle to any kind of thing that we are doing in our lives, especially to programming. But really, it doesn't matter what you are doing. You can apply this principle of learning in action. Because to learn in action means that you have two choices. Either you are going to learn it or something bad is going to happen to you. And obviously, when you are just programming, you are not going to die if you don't learn how to code properly or how to write proper software architecture or any kind of stuff like that. You are not going to die. You are not going to be bitten by a dog. You are not going to be drowned, right? The only thing that can happen to you is that you fail. And I think that this, like, being afraid of failure is also a thing which prevents many people from pursuing what they set out to do, right? Because, yeah, you want to learn how to program, but when you are guided through a tutorial, you have basically no chance of failing, so you feel safe, right? You are in your safe space, whatever that means. And, uh, you know, like, all right, he's going to take my hand, he's going to, like, uh, show me what I should do, I'm going to copy and paste it after him and uh, I will be good and I will have my own app, right? My own app, yeah, for sure. What you are going to have is a copied app, not your own app. And actually, I probably should not be saying this because I am a tutorial maker, so I want to have people following my tutorials, right? But I'm going to say it nonetheless because I just want to help you. I don't want to help myself, I want to help you. That's why I'm making those tutorials. And actually, how you should be using those tutorials is to just go through them as you are struggling or go through them fully, but don't pretend that you are learning how to make your own apps. You are not learning how to make your own apps. You are learning how to copy after somebody. And obviously, you are going to learn a lot of things down the road, like the proper code structure and uh, how to the syntax of the language, how to structure your code properly. Yeah, I already said that, but whatever. Basically, you are going to learn a lot of things, but it's up to you what you are going to do with those things. And you actually have to start building your own apps by looking at the documentation, getting your hands dirty completely in code, going through open source GitHub repositories and uh, just reading wiki pages and all of that stuff because otherwise you are not going to learn everything properly. 
After all, people who are creating tutorials have to go through that. For example, I'm always going through a bunch of GitHub repositories, a bunch of already made apps, which are made mostly by Google, where they're showcasing their newest things on repositories, right? Open source. And I go through that stuff and I learn a lot and then I pack it up, I package it, and then I provide you the knowledge which I learned somewhere else because obviously none of the tutorial people who are making tutorials are going to come up with that stuff on their own. They have to read documentation, including myself. So you should do the same. Obviously you can watch a tutorial of mine or of some of someone else, but at the end of the day, you are only going to make good apps if you learn how to learn on your own without somebody guiding you. With that said, there is one more thing that you should do if you want to learn properly. And that is that your goal in learning should be at least in a bit to teach somebody else what you just learned. For example, that's what I'm doing, right? When I learn something, I make my own apps, that's true, but I also make tutorials. And what is so good about making tutorials, right? Because if you make an app of your own, which you just publish on the App Store or do it for a client, yeah, you have the knowledge how to make the app, but you may not have the knowledge completely because maybe you just copied and pasted the code from uh, some GitHub repository and you don't really know what it does precisely, right? But if you want to teach somebody how to code that stuff, you are going to have to know exactly and precisely what that code does. Because when you are teaching somebody, you have to provide value to them. And when you just paste code and don't explain it, well, there is no value provided. And I think at least in my newer tutorials, because in the older tutorials of mine, I may have some bad things happening going on, right? But in the newest tutorials, I always explain basically every line of code up to a point, obviously, because I don't want to repeat myself or go through like plus operators that it adds to numbers together, right? But when it comes to more abstract, more high level concepts, I always explain it. And I may not be, may not have been able to explain it uh, if I just made apps for myself and never make tutorials because yeah, you guys are really pushing me to learn what I should learn in order to teach you. So that is also to keep in mind. If you want to learn, you should also teach. This is the best way to learn because you have some goal to fulfill. All right, so if you found this video helpful, give it a like and also share it. If you don't wanna miss more videos like this, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button so that you are not gonna miss any of my new videos. And also, if you have anything to say, if you have any questions or suggestions for the future parts of these tutorials or videos, right? Leave them in the comments so that I know what you want to see. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and see you in the next video.